Hi, I'm uh, going to quickly show you how the multilingualizer works. Um, this is a brilliant system for enabling uh, multiple languages on your website. works on any platform, Squarespace, Shopify, or big sellers for us. Uh, also, WordPress works really well. Um, the advantages of it over our competition, like if you've been thinking about using Localize, they charge you monthly. But worse than that, um, they keep the translations on their server. Um, the reason why that's so bad is because um, Google then doesn't get to see your translations. So if somebody's, if you've translated your site into French and somebody searches in French, they're not going to find your site if you use localize. Okay, with ours, I'll show you all, but all of the text that you've got stays exactly on your page. Um, so Google finds it all really easily. Um, it presents snippets to the users in their language. Uh, gives you a boost for for all that stuff. Also, because you don't have to create any extra pages, um, if you've got any social media counters, then they'll have the same value. They'll be shared across all of your languages. So lots of good reasons. No subscription fee as well. Still no subscription fee. We are considering starting a subscription fee. But if you buy before a subscription starts, then you won't ever have to pay a subscription fee. Okay, so do, do think about buying uh, soon. We might be adding a subscription fee in July. Uh, okay, so here's how it works. Um, you see in this case, I mean, you can style this translator, this uh, language selector, however you like. In this case, I've got it in the top right, got it black background, and I've got here English, French, and Klingon. To install this, it's a simple matter, copy and paste. Um, but I'll show you that in a minute. I'll show you, first of all, how, how it works. So um, look it out for, I've only translated, in this example, I've translated the contact does button, which you see here. It's changed to contact to new. And this part here which you see is now also in French okay I've got another way of doing it um, which I'll show you at the back end it's up to your own preference I prefer the first technique uh, which I've used here um, but I'll show you the second technique that I've used for Holiday Inn Express uh, just before I go to the back end to show you how it all works I'll show you Klingon just to prove to you that it can handle any language um, and then so there's your Klingon stuff okay uh, and also in the menu Okay, so how does that look in the back end? Okay, so this is, let me just get to the page. Right, best hotels, there we go. Okay, so here is how it works, right? So basically, once you've got the script installed, you start off a, a translation block with your four full stops. Uh, and then at the very end of it, you finish with four full stops. And then simply to separate the languages, um, the language choices, you just put two full stops in between. Okay, so you, you basically you choose an order for the languages on your website. So in this case, English, French, and then Klingon, that becomes language one, two, three, etc. Uh, and then when you start a language block, you just make sure you keep them in the same order. So four dots, and then you put the English, and then the French, and then the Klingon. Now, the cool thing, one another cool thing about the multilingualizer is you don't have to go and translate everything at once. Um, so, like here, I've got I've got Klingon, but like in the, there's another example down here. I, I prefer this up here, right? So you see how I've done block by block. So I've got the four dots, and then I've got an entire block of text, including bullet points and hyperlinks. I think that's neater. I think it's better formatting. But some customers prefer it this way, which is to be able to translate sentence by sentence. So you can see the full block here finishes at this point and then there's another block starts here and that lets you translate sentence by sentence you'll also notice that i've only got uh, the language separator once so there's only english and french there's no klingon and yet on the front end what happens is if it doesn't see its language that it needs it'll default to your first language okay it doesn't break or anything doesn't choose some random language it's going for the default site language that you've got okay um, so that's it. So if you want to edit any text, it's really simple. If you want to create a translation, you're putting in four dots. The great thing about the four dots is that when Google sees this as a snippet, all of this text is present on your page. Google will see it all. Um, but the four dots will come out next to this Malmaison Hotel. So it'll look like a natural snippet. It won't look like some funky code that you've got on your page. It'll be nice and readable. Okay, but it will actually pull out any of this text for a snippet, depending on what language the user searched in. Okay, so that's it really. You can style this uh, trans this selector bar however you like. You can actually put it into your menu system. Uh, there's guides for all that kind of stuff. Um, 
Now, installation, like I said, it is simply copy and paste. I can show you the example in Squarespace, uh, but it works. I mean, there's instructions for Shopify and um, WordPress and every 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 website where you can upload JavaScript. Okay, so it comes in two files. You put one file into your header. That's that file pasted into the header there. And you put another file into your footer. You never, ever need to edit the code in the, fo in the footer. In the header, the only part you ever need to edit is just this bit up here. So if you want to add an extra language, you just copy the entire row and type in the name of the language. Okay. Now that'll add an extra language translator onto your menu. Um, and it now gives you the ability so that um, if you've got the English ones, you do your four dots, English version, dot, dot, French version, dot, dot, Klingon version, dot, dot, Greek version, then finish with the four full stops. It's really that simple. It's really easy to learn, really easy to use, really easy for people to look at and see. I mean, you see how nice and easy that is. All the text is nice, nice and kept there together. Um, so we can amend it or update it as we need. Um, it means you don't need to create any new pages. Um, all your social media counters are all shared. You don't, you're not starting from scratch again. If people have been tweeting and Facebooking your page, um, then they're all still on the same page. Um, it's really fast uh, and it works really well. Uh, we've got about 100 satisfied customers now. So check out the reviews. Uh, remember, we might Put, we might start doing a subscription fee. Um, certainly, it looks like we're because we're going to do a Shopify app, and it looks like we have to with that one. Um, but we might introduce that for the rest of them. Um, so go ahead and buy now. If you buy now, then you'll never ever have to pay a subscription fee. You'll have this for life uh, as an award for our earliest customers. Um, and you can check us in comparison to localized JS, but we really are better. We're cheaper, uh, better solution, better for your search engine optimization. Um, so I hope you pick us.